Hello everyone, welcome back. This is session nine of Machine Learning Zoom Camp, and in this session we will talk about serverless deep learning. In the previous session, we talked about deep learning and we trained a model for classifying images of clothes. And if you remember, the use case we covered was that uh, we have a user who comes to an online classifieds platform. The user has something they want to sell, let's say pants. So what they do is they take their mobile phone, they take a picture of the pants, and then they upload the pants to the website. Once we have this picture, we want to send a picture to our clothes classification service. Send this picture there, and the picture replies that this is pants. What we do next is we tell this to the user. Looks like you're trying to sell pants. So let's put whatever you're trying to sell in the pants category. And in the previous session, we talked about training a model. So we talked about using Keras and TensorFlow for training image classification model for classifying pictures of different clothes. We used Keras for that. So now we have a model for that. And in this session, we will focus on actually how do we take this model and how do we go about deploying this? One way of deploying this model will be using AWS Lambda. Lambda is a service from AWS that allows us to deploy many different things, including machine learning models. So the way it works, we have a picture of pens. We send this picture, URL of this picture to our model that we are going to deploy with AWS Lambda. And then the service that we deploy through Lambda will reply with many different classes. And one of these classes will be pens. And then we'll have some score. And this is what we actually are going to respond with. So this is what we want to cover. And for doing this, we actually will take our model that we trained previously with Keras. And we will use TensorFlow Lite for that. This Lambda will use TensorFlow Lite internally. And we will talk about the reasons why TensorFlow Lite is better than plain TensorFlow for this particular use case. So that's the plan for this session. In particular, we will talk about what actually AWS Lambda is and what's the difference between AWS Lambda and other approaches. Then we'll talk about TensorFlow Lite as an alternative to TensorFlow and why it is better for this particular use case. Also, we will convert the model we trained previously into TensorFlow Lite format. And then we will see how we can use this model that we convert it inside Lambda. To be able to do this, we will package everything as a Docker container and then deploy it to AWS Lambda. So we will do that. And uh, finally, we will expose this Lambda function as a web service using API Gateway. That's the plan. And the next thing we want to do is we want to talk about this AWS Lambda, what this is and how it's different from other approaches. So see you soon.